So, no, give me, give me a minute. No, my construction entrepreneur. So this is what I want to talk about. And this has been a topic throughout this week. This week has been a busy week for me. I've been in San Diego, LA. So it's, it's been crazy, but it's been good. But throughout all the phone calls that I have gotten, there's just um, one thing that, that comes up, okay? I've gotten phone calls about, hey, I can't land enough work. Um, uh, I'm not landing jobs. Um, I can't stay busy. I'm not winning jobs. Um, another question comes up, um, uh, you know, what, what do I need to do that's different? And, and everyone that I have spoken to, and, and mind you, this is, you know, the, the, the entrepreneurs that are out there in the grind, right? Um, just started a business, been having it for one or two years, uh, really getting out there, testing the water, seeing how it is, um, and, and kind of, you know, learning this whole thing, right? Uh, so what I want to say on a side note to, to those individuals out there, watch more YouTube channels and watch the people that are giving out some real good content so you can learn from it, you know? And you can't, not everything you can apply, but learn what you can apply and apply it, okay? The, the, the biggest takeaway from all these conversations is speed. Okay, a lot of you out there, the reason why you're not getting work is because you're not turning, you're not returning or turning in your bids, your quotes, estimates on time quickly. Okay, and you're not offering more to the client, especially for the contractors out there offering big ticket items. If you're offering items over eight grand. You know, I would even say 10 grand, depending on the industry. But you need to give that customer a visual, something that they can see, something that they can hold on to, you know, a design, a plan, uh, 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 something that, that connects them to what you're going to do, you know. Uh, and, and that's key, especially with, with these big ticket items. So you need to also add that to your quotes. But the key here is this. Uh, I had one student call me. He says, hey, man, uh, I cannot beat these other guys. You know, these guys are just, you know, coming in low and and, and I know what I'm worth. So I, I just can't beat them. And, I, you know, there is, okay, there, there is a customer base out there that is no longer your customer base. Okay. And you have to get out of that river. Okay, you have to step out that river and jump into the ocean. Okay, you have to put on your big boy pants, big girl pants, and jump into the ocean. Okay, because that river is not for you anymore. Okay, so if you're there, then you need to get out of it straight up. But I tell you this: if you're if you're over here, you're still not getting work. You need to figure out a way to get things done fast. When I was a contractor out there doing a lot of residential work. That's what I had to do to get more work. I had to get better at what I was doing. I had to get better at knowing my numbers. I always talk about numbers. I had to get better at knowing my numbers. So now I go to someone's house, right? And they say, hey, um, uh, give me a number to do this, this patio here, okay? And then later on, I might think about doing the, the side of the house and the front of the house or something like that, right? So while I'm there and I'm measuring and taking pictures, I'm also figuring out the quote to give them before I leave. Now, there is things to say, hey, don't give out quotes right away, right? Don't, don't, don't allow pressure, customers to pressure you to give, them, to give them a price right away. Well, it works both ways in that. If you know your number, Stop playing around. Stop waiting until you got to get home, get to the office, write down everything. Here, here we are. We're taking, we're literally taking two and three days for an estimate that should take three hours. For an estimate that might even take you two hours. If you have been doing this trade for three months, six months, nine months plus, you should know your numbers. You should have your stuff 
wrote out to where you don't forget things. That way you can do estimates fast. Take your time and write down things that needs to go in, into each estimate. That way you can provide quicker estimates and you won't leave things out. Because I, when I first started and I was like, I was turning all these quick estimates, I'll get home and I'll be like, oh, I forgot the dump fee, you know? Oh man, I forgot to add a, a pump, you know? Oh man, I forgot to do fiber mesh after I took out the rebar. So write down an item list that you can go over so you can give quicker prices. I don't want to, don't give me this bull about, I need to sit down and think about it. If you have been doing this for three months, six months, nine months plus, you should know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers and you cannot put yourself in a position to where you can give out quicker estimates, then you're always going to be behind. Maybe this is just not for you. Or maybe the type of work or the amount of work that you're receiving is good. But if you want to get more, okay, after I left that customer's place, I gave them a, a, a drawing from a program that I had of their decorative concrete or plain concrete, gave them a drawing and a written quote when I left their house. How many jobs do you think I got by doing that? There's contractors still to this day that are not turning in bids in a timely fashion. Just not. So get better at speed. Get better at making things happen quickly. And like today I did a video, and I'm going to link it here, where it's uh, part of the sidewalk program. And my partner, he's, he's all about speed. He will knock these projects out in one day if he's able to get the inspector to, uh, to approve him to do demo and pour concrete, right? Where he could just take pictures and show the inspector that he's doing everything per code. If he can get that, he's going to knock these projects out in one day. So what does that do? You make more money. You charge better, right? Because everyone else is turning this project into a three-day project. Okay, no one is thinking about speed. Everyone is turning a one-day project into a three to four-day project. And then on top of that, you already turning that three-hour estimate into a three-day estimate. Speed, act like you want it. There's so many people out here that wants it, but I need you to act like you want it. Kick out these numbers. You visit these customers, give them their number right away. They ask you to start, go start. Get things coordinated so you can start fast, quick, and be done. Fast, quick, and be done. Challenge yourself, okay? Listen to this. There's some things that you may have to sub out that may delay you from being fast, okay? So for you Windows guys, right? Let's maybe say you're not fast at demoing Windows. Then maybe you need to sub out a demo company to come in to demo all these Windows and then you do the install, okay? Uh, uh, for you concrete guys, maybe you need to hire someone to come in and do demo. Have someone come in with a bobcat and, and a, a, a bobtail. A, a, a bob they're quick. They know what they're doing. They get in there, scoop that stuff out, dump it. You shoot some lines, get some grades, get it close to where they don't have to take anything else. And that's it. You move to the next thing. So stop trying to do it all. When there's times where you can have others do it, you can sub it out and get it done faster and cost you less because they'll come there with the right intention to knock this stuff out so if you got a trade where you can actually take a portion of that sub it out to someone else so they can get it done a lot faster than you can and you'll save a little bit of money or even better yet you break even with it it's fine but they get it done faster <laughs> you can't beat that 
let them get in there, get it done, and then you get in there and take tear the doors off this, man. Do your numbers. Get to it. I know it's a pain. I, I don't I, I talk about it on my videos. I don't want to do numbers. I don't wake up in the morning and roll over to my wife like, you know what? Mm. Oh, man, I can't wait till I get down to the office to do those numbers. No, I, no, I do them because it makes more sense for me to do them and I'm good at it. You know, that's it. So get down and do it. It's, and sometimes you just got to just force yourself. Force yourself to do it. Figure out a way to make it fun. I can't. I just go over there and do it. You know, I miss a few of them and then I get back on it. But get on it. Let's go. It's 2019. It's 2019. You should be. I did a video today of driving in LA on Instagram. In LA on Instagram on how much work it is in LA. It's finally clicking to me, right? I'm doing, I'm working with uh, my partner, uh, Tim, and he's, he's, we're in schools and, 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 and he's just, he's just kicking tail. We're kicking tail. And it's a lovely thing, you know, it, it really is. And, um, and, 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 and you just got to know where you need to improve and do it. Sit. First quarter is almost over. How much work have you put in? How much work have you put in? Hey, so I'm going to let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. So the question is this. What are you going to do? to get your jobs done faster, quicker, and out the door. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna change? What changes do you see you need to make? Let me know, leave it in the comments. Or better yet, give us a call. I'm gonna let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. So I hope you check out our other services here. We can help you get a contractor's license. And also, too, with that course comes with a business course where we help you learn how to start and run your construction business. Makes no sense to get your license and not know how to run your business to start making money, right? You have to make that dream come true. Also, if you already have a contractor's license, but you may need help on estimating, won't you check out our CES estimating system? which we can link you up. Click the link in the bio for a demo for our estimating systems to help you get your company to the next level. Thank you.